important you understand that you cannot design a building today without primary, secondary, so important of fashion. And if I look at the building blocks out there that you need to understand, of which primary, secondary is a big piece of, you design a chill water system, a hot water heating system, a chill water plant, a hot water plant, central plant, you're going to be using one of these building blocks or combination thereof. Primary pumping, primary secondary pumping, primary secondary tertiary, primary secondary tertiary hybrid, and primary secondary zone. I'm not wanting you to be experts today. I just want to plant these little concepts in your mind. Uh, here's a here's a verbal primary pump or primary pump blue, and you see a little green pipe. You see all this going on, but you need to understand primary secondary pumping how this works. One set of pumps pumping everything. Yes, you got a green pipe, but remember the common pipe. And the primary secondary theory. We remember if we put pressure drop in the common pipe, we force circulation in the secondary. That's all we're doing here. We get a little bypass, green common pipe with a valve, valve in it deliberately that we're throttling that valve to control the flow rates through the chillers and through the system. Primary pump. Here's a typical primary secondary system we looked at. We've got a dedicated pump for a chiller, constant flow. Again, see the common pipe? And you got a little secondary pump with two way valves, primary and secondary. The secondary is verbal flow. The primary is constant flow. Primary and secondary. Wow, here's that chiller, big chiller loop again, the big campus loop. But don't let this catch you off guard. Don't be confused by this. Remember that simple T law. Remember the simple common pipe. Primary, secondary, tertiary. Now we got a primary chiller loop or a boiler loop. Dedicated pumps per chiller or boiler. A little common pipe, secondary loop, secondary pump, verbal flow with two-way valves on the bridges, and each individual building has a pump and two-way valves. Primary, secondary, tertiary, and I hope you see all the common pipes on here. Every one of those common pipes tells you another application for primary, secondary. And give you a summary here what's good and bad with this, and this is not the intent today, just kind of a handout, because this is a high-level uh, application stuff, but primary, secondary, tertiary considerations make a lot of sense, and this is kind of walk you through that. Now here, we, here goes primary, secondary, tertiary, or hybrid. Remember the pumping example I showed you about how you would isolate the high head loss zone? That's all we're doing here. Don't make the mistake of trying to put tertiary loops on every building if you don't need it. Primary, secondary, I got primary loops. Chillers, dedicated pumps, constant flow, that's a little green common pipe. I've got a secondary pump pumping zones A and B. There's plenty of hit on that distribution secondary pump, the pump zones A and B. Way, way out of the system, I've got zone C with a high hit. I'm going to isolate that zone with a tertiary pump. Therefore, we call this primary secondary tertiary hybrid. It's got a little bit of primary secondary in it, and it's got some tertiary loops as well. Uh, another concept that's been around quite a while is zone pump. And again, it's a version of primary secondary. Notice here, we got a dedicated pump for each chiller, constant flow. We got a little common pipe for the, for, for the, for, for the decouple. And instead of having a one big distribution pump, we have pumps in each zone. And each zone pump is pumping its zone and the distribution piping out to it, called primary secondary zone pump. I'm not trying to make you an expert. I give you some pluses and minus with that. All I'm trying to do today is plant a concept with you that everything you look at is some version of primary secondary. Every single thing you look at. So you've got to get the common pipe down. Here's some advantages and disadvantages of each one. And again, the purpose is for you to understand. You cannot do a chill water system today. You cannot do a hot water system today. You cannot do a plumbing system today without applying primary, secondary, in some form or fashion. That's why it's so critical to you that you get that little basic, simple building block in your mind so you can begin to understand some of these concepts and how we got there. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been fun. We appreciate your time. Have a great day. Thank you very much for your time.